Let's take our normal distribution curve down here and label it with a mean and some standard deviations we're given. Uh, in order to do this, we're going to take our mean, this time we're looking at a standard IQ test, with a mean of 100. Your mean is going to go right in the center of your normal distribution. So let's go ahead and mark right down the center. We're just estimating where these uh, are going to be. We're just making a sketch. Uh, but our mean is going to be 100, so we're going to go right in the center. Uh, what I want to do then is I want to find or mark uh, one, two, and three standard deviations both above and below the mean. And so again, we're just going to kind of estimate where these are. I'm just going to put three marks down here uh, to represent the three standard deviations above the mean. And similarly, I'm going to make three marks down here to represent three standard deviations below the mean. Well, I can see that this time my data tells me my standard deviation is going to be 15. So basically, for each of those marks, you're going to be adding 15 each time to find each higher standard deviation, and then uh, similarly subtracting 15 to find those lower standard deviations. So that means one standard deviation above the mean would be 115. If I add 15 again, I'm going to be at 130. And if I add 15 again, I'd be at 145, meaning an IQ score on this test of 145 would represent three standard deviations above the mean. On the other hand, if I subtract 15 each time, I'd be 85 uh, would be my IQ score for one standard deviation below the mean. Subtract 15 again, that would leave me at 70. And if I subtract 15 again, there's 55. So there's my sketch of a graph that has the mean labeled as well as three standard deviations above and below the mean. And now that we have this uh, sketched out, I can use this to uh, use this along with the empirical rule, which we'll review here in a second, uh, to make some estimations about certain different percentages or certain different sections of this graph. And so this question now says, find the range of IQ scores that would represent the middle 66 or 68 percent of the distribution. Well, if you uh, check in your notes, you probably see this somewhere representing the empirical rule, and it gives me different percentages based on whether I'm one, two standard deviations above, below the mean, and so on. Uh, and so they first ask us for the middle 68%. Well, I can see that that middle 68% of a normal distribution is going to represent the scores that are both one, uh, one standard deviation below and one standard deviation above the mean. So going back to look at the graph we made then, we're going to look for those same values. What was one standard deviation below? What was one standard deviation um, above? And so I can see that those values must be right there. There's my first set of standard deviations, one uh, above and below. And so that range of values then must be IQ scores between 85 and 115. All right, uh, so that, that's kind of how we're going to be using that, uh, that empirical scale, that uh, graph with the different percentages on it to answer some questions. Uh, next up, they say, what percent of IQ scores will be greater than 130? And so again, looking back at the graph we made, let's find where 130 is. That uh, was this location here, two standard deviations above the mean. And we want to see uh, scores that are that or higher. So I'm going to be looking at anything, any percentages from the empirical rule that were two standard deviations above the mean. So going back to this graph over here, let me uh, erase some of those marks in here. Uh, two standard deviations above the mean would represent all the scores that way. And so I can see there's not many, uh, there's not a large percentage that meet that. In fact, it's just those two values right there. 2.35% uh, right there, and then 0.15% was everything past that. So uh, adding those two percentages together, the 2.35% plus the 0.15% uh, gets me, I always use approximate these because these are all approximations, but it gets me only about 2.5% of the population is going to have IQ scores of uh, over 130.